you know, it's, I always give an analogy with the painting. You know, if you want to paint something like uh, with the big strokes, perhaps, I don't know, Pollock would throw some of the, you know, paint on the wall. So we do this kind of thing. Then if you want to do something in a different kind of shape, we engage our forearm and the wrist. And then there's something more delicate, we engage only wrist. And then there's something really, really, really something very refined you want to do. So you, when you paint, you cannot move from here, right? You want to do something very, uh, I don't know, like Japanese painting or something, when, but something very, um, very delicate. So it's what we need to do here also. So maybe for, um, for this part, yes, you need to use more of the forearm and the rest of the hand, but not for... So... And actually when you play this part of A bit, a little bit of too much of the forearm. So it's something, this is a very important a an engine we got to engage because all of the subtle and quick strokes on the violin, they really depend. Yeah, I find it essential. Many wonderful young violinists, when they don't feel that part, they really lack certain variety in the strokes because if it, if you think about the nature of throwing your hand you know you, you don't throw the hand and it's it stays this way so you throw something and if your wrist is relaxed it will come back so something about the throwing or the kicks natural movement so you can do a couple of different strokes in one movement because there's a return of your hand if this part is released and you feel that it's it's really doesn't have tension uh so it's something you know I'm, I'm trying to give you maybe too much information at this point but um something it's, it's very quick it's not then, then. and you see also something in the left hand i was missing i'm not going to talk about vibrato not vibrato I, I don't like even discussion about vibrato. This is more like an impulse. But when we play sometimes and we ignore, I mean, there's no singing, there's no speaking because left hand is not really trying to articulate. Uh, for me, it's a uh, one line or. There's a few angles you can find in those triples. But again, those details, we need to try to develop a certain impulse and articulation on each finger, just to be aware. Mm -hmm. Am I not doing anything just because I don't, I don't want this knot to outshine? Or it, I'm just ignoring this knot because I haven't yet found a way to have the impulse, articulation. Left hand needs to be always alive. And actually right one too, even when it's very still, it's still, there's a life. The moment it's frozen, there's no life. So there's always something needs to be, you, you feel that it's a continuation of your energy. And of course, our, our fingers here and our fingers in the bow, it's something we need to develop the sensitivity. Mm -hmm. So I, I already, I need to let you play a little bit because I've been talking too much. 